the Congressional Budget Office, those are the independent budget experts who analyze policies under consideration here in Congress, estimated that the plan would rip health insurance coverage away from 24 million Americans and cut $880 billion from the Medicaid program. And as a bonus, the plan provides hundreds of billions of dollars in tax breaks for the rich. Who comes up with a plan like this? What kind of health care bill has as its central feature ripping away health insurance from tens of millions of American citizens? What kind of politician thinks that they were sent to Congress to destroy the financial stability of millions, millions of middle class families and give wealthy donors a tax break that they certainly don't need? Who thinks? that the central problem in America is that middle class families have too much health care coverage and that the richest people in America need government to hand them more money. There is no other way to say it. This bill is just part of a Republican plan to help the rich get richer and kick dirt in everyone else's face. This bill is an economic disaster and at its center it is cruel cancer survivors losing coverage, seniors facing premium increases of $12,000 a year, people with disabilities forced into nursing homes. And one of the cruelest things is what this bill will do to individuals, to families, and to communities struggling with the opioid crisis. Last year in Massachusetts, nearly 2,000 people died from opioid use. That is more than double the number who died in 2013. That's right, double. Between 2014 and 2015, Massachusetts had a bigger jump in its death rate from drug overdoses than any other state except North Dakota. Now, last week, I was on the front lines in Lynn Community Health Center, where dedicated staffers are trying to meet this opioid epidemic head on. This week, I went to Manic Community Health Center, where a coordinated team in Quincy is battling the opioid crisis. But while I was there, I not only met with the professionals, I saw the mamas and the babies the people who are in recovery, and people who reach out to those who are still in the grip of drugs. The opioid crisis isn't happening to someone else's family or in someone else's community. It's happening to our families in our communities. And we need to do more, more to stop this plague before it takes another of our loved ones. We need to do more. What we absolutely cannot do is less. We cannot take away the resources already committed to fighting the opioid crisis so that some millionaire can get a tax break. Current law, the ACA, requires all insurance plans to cover substance use disorder treatment and prevention as an essential health benefit. That means that your insurance company can't turn off your access to treatment just when you need it most by saying, oh sorry, we just don't cover that. Current law, the ACA, gave people the chance to get that insurance. Through health exchanges and subsidies, millions more people got private insurance. And through Medicaid expansion, millions more were covered by Medicaid. So there it is, our first line in the defense in the war on opioid addiction. The ACA currently means that more people are covered and that that coverage includes substance abuse treatment. And what does the Republican plan do? Take away coverage for 24 million people. That's 24 million people who no longer have any access to substance use disorder and prevention services. And then they want to let insurance companies jack up the out-of-pocket costs for substance abuse programs and mental health programs. In fact, some Medicaid plans would be able to drop this coverage altogether. So millions more people would lose their one lifeline if someone in their family is taken by drugs. Now, don't get me wrong. What we're doing right now is not enough. Even now, only 10% of those who need treatment for substance abuse disorder receive it. 90% already can't get help. 
but that means we need more, not less, help. Repealing the protections for mental health and substance use disorders in the ACA would yank more than $5 billion, that's $5 billion in actual funding that is currently going to mental health and treatment services. That's the Republican plan to deal with the opioid crisis. Ask any family trying to get treatment for a loved one who is addicted to drugs. We already have an opioid treatment addict gap. Gutting the ACA is like shoving a stick of dynamite into the treatment gap and then lighting the fuse. And if the Republicans get their way, people will lose health coverage. People will lose access to recovery services. People will die. Now is the time to stop this cruel bill in its tracks before it hurts real people. Now is the time to speak out about the importance of the ACA and Medicaid to you and to your family. If you or someone you know has been touched by the opioid epidemic, you know how much this matters. Maybe you have a sister or a child or a church member or a high school friend who has struggled with substance use disorder. Maybe you know someone who has fought on the front lines of this crisis as a health care provider, as a community advocate, as a first responder. If you do, then you know the stakes in this debate over the ACA and Medicaid. Now, now is the time to act. Don't wait. If the Republicans end up destroying help for millions of people, don't wake up the next morning and wonder if you could have said more or if you could have raised your voice back when it mattered. No, the Republicans are trying to pass this terrible health care bill now, and now is the time to speak out. It is time to stand up and to tell Republicans to end their cruel health care plan. Our families and our communities are counting on us.